so we are having technical difficulties with the streaming, so we're going to start in just a few minutes, okay? So please bear with us. We're trying to get the streaming back up. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. Anne's Catholic Church. Our celebrant this day is Father Martin. The concelebrant is Father Lito. And assisting at the altar will be Deacon Jim Adloff. Our seminarian, Kevin Colker, and Father Fred will also be concelebrating. Okay. You're the Catechism together, okay? of the Catholic walk Church slowly, okay? says that the fast, Eucharist okay? is the source is... and summit of right. Christian life. Today we celebrate the sacrament of First walk Eucharist. With your partner, okay? The Eucharist slowly, reminds right? us that because we have partners, received okay? the body of walk Christ, slowly. we must yes, become the body of Christ. He's going to hand you the Eucharist. We are the Lord's hands that touch and care for the sick his feet to walk to meet the lonely, his understanding eyes that reveal compassion to the hurting. Through this wondrous gift, the Lord continues to pour out his saving graces on the members of his body, the church, so that we all might be holy and attentive to our prayer and praise to God during this service we ask that no photos please be taken during the Mass to maintain the sacred liturgy. And also, at this time, if you have not already done so, to please turn off your cell phones. Please join in our entrance song, Come to Me, in your booklets. Please stand.
O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, for his work wondrous in the sight of the nations, and has shown his deliverance. Alleluia. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. What an awesome and beautiful day that the Lord has given us today an opportunity to celebrate with these young individuals who are going to receive their first Holy Communion, a next step, a next chapter in their life with Christ. And what a beautiful opportunity for us to remember how we once received Christ in our life and how we continue to receive him each and every time we come for the Eucharist. Brothers and sisters, let let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned within my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mother, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Mighty and ever-living God, constantly accomplish the Paschal mysteries within us, that those who are pleased to make new in holy baptism may under your protective care bear much fruit and come to the joys of eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us all be seated and listen attentively to our readings. And may I have our readers please come forward. Yeah. A 
reading from the book of Exodus. After the people of Israel had escaped from Egypt and were in the desert, they all started complaining to Moses and Aaron. They said, we wish the Lord had killed us in Egypt. When we lived there, we could at least sit down and eat all the bread and meat we wanted. But you have brought us out here in the desert where we are going to starve to death. The Lord said to Moses, I will send bread down from heaven like rain for all of you. Each day the people can go out and gather up only enough for that day. By doing this, I'll find out if they will obey me. I have heard my people complain. I'll tell them that each evening they will have meat and each evening morning they will have more than enough bread. The people will know that I am the Lord, their God. That evening, birds came and landed everywhere in the camp. The next morning, dew covered the ground. After the dew had gone, there were thin, fl there were thin flakes that looked like frost all over the ground. The people had never seen anything like this, and they started asking each other, what is it? Moses told them, this is the food that the Lord has given you. The word of the Lord. Thanks, speedy God. The response will be, the Lord gave them bread from heaven. The Lord, Lord gave, gave them bread, bread from, from heaven. heaven. These are the things we learn from our ancestors, and we won't keep secret the glorious deeds and the mighty miracles of the Lord. The Lord, the Lord gave, gave them bread, bread from, from heaven. heaven. God gave a command to the clouds, and he opened the doors in the sky. From heaven he sent grain that they called manna. The Lord, the Lord gave, gave them bread, bread from, from heaven. heaven. He gave them more than enough, and each one of them ate the special food. God brought his people to the sacred mountain. The Lord, the Lord gave, gave them bread, bread from, from heaven. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The people saw that Jesus and his disciples had left. Then they got into the boats and went to Capernaum to look for Jesus. They found him on the west side of the lake and asked, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, I tell you for certain that you are not looking for me because you saw the miracles, but because you ate all the food you wanted. Don't work for food that spoils. Work for food that gives eternal life. The Son of Man will give you this food because God the Father has given him the right to do so. What exactly does God want us to do? The people asked. Jesus answered, God wants you to have faith in the one he sent. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, everyone. What a great day today is, right? Yes, because today we start a new chapter in our Christian life, right? Yes. Do you realize? Well, you probably don't realize this, but when you were a baby, 
and when you were baptized, your parents put on a white garment for you, right? So you were wearing something in white. And today, yet again, we wear something in white, right? And what does that mean? Does anybody know what that means? Yes. Do what? You forgot. Okay, Tristan, what does it mean? Communion, sort of, yeah? Yes. A new life, that's absolutely right. So we wear white as a symbol of a new life. A new life where, with who? With Christ, right? A new life with Christ. An opportunity to say, yes, I want to grow with Christ. Because it is a growth process. This is the next chapter in your growth process. So we planted the seeds, or your parents planted the seeds at your baptism and so ever since then you've been growing in this relationship with Christ and today he's given you his body for what for nourishment that you can continue to grow on this beautiful journey that he has set you on well, what's the purpose of you growing in a relationship with him yes Maddox So you, uh, yeah, so you can go closer to him and get to heaven. Absolutely, right? That's our main goal. That's our purpose in life is to return to heaven. So good job, right? That's awesome, right? So here he wants us to come into a relationship with him. The next chapter, what you're going to be working towards is your confirmation. That's the next sacrament that you'll receive is your confirmation. There in the midst of your confirmation, your baptism is completed. Because in the confirmation, when you're in the eighth grade, so roughly 13-ish, right? You'll be able to stand up here and say, yes, I want to spend the rest of my life following you, God. Because I've seen all the wonders that you have done in my life and in my family's life. And I want to continue this relationship. I want to continue to grow with you in this relationship. So at 13 or the eighth grade, you're able to say yes to the Lord in your confirmation. And so that's the next journey for us. Today, though, he gives us the nourishment we need. The nourishment that we need to continue to grow and to foster this beautiful love within inside of us. So those seeds that were planted inside of you at baptism have started to grow, and they will continue to grow and be fertilized with the Eucharist. Because you are what you eat, right? If you eat good food, what happens? You become strong, right? And you're healthy. If you eat bad food, what happens? Yes. You don't become strong and you don't become healthy, right? Yeah, absolutely. And so this beautiful Eucharist is inside of us and we are what we eat. So we come closer to Christ, right? We come closer into this beautiful relationship with Christ. Today, our readings were all about that and how God provides. So remember, the Israelites, they were prisoners in Egypt. And God freed them from their being slaves, right? He frees them. And he gives them the opportunity to start their life new. But in the midst of the desert, what happens? They're hungry and they're thirsty. And God provides for them. He sends the birds down so they can eat the birds. And he sends manna down every day so they, their thirst will be quenched. And that's us. That's how he loves us so much. And then in the gospel reading, he just fed the 5,000 people because they were hungry. Now he's traveling and these people are following Jesus because they want what he has to offer, the love 
and the relationship of the Father. They recognize in him that he is very different and they want what he has, a relationship with the Father. That's your why. Why do I do what I do? Why am I here today? Because the Father, our God, wants a relationship with you. And this is how you have a relationship with him. By actively participating in the Mass, by actively participating in prayer, by actively participating in feeding the seeds that were planted inside you at your baptism. That's what today is all about. Today is a new beginning for you all. And we are happy and privileged to be part of this for you. And so, brothers and sisters, are you ready to continue? Are you ready to continue? Are you ready to say, yeah, I want to grow my seeds? Awesome. Let us all stand and profess our faith. Now, this is the faith that you're growing into, but us adults, I hope that we've already grown into this faith and we've come closer to the Lord. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, we God not made, come substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For our men and for our salvation, he came down from the heaven. And by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He's ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess to one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, gathering all of our prayers and prayers into one, let us offer our prayers and intentions for those individuals in need and those people in our community. For the Holy Church, may it feed us with God's holy word and with the holy bread of the Eucharist, giving us eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For families around the world, that they may receive the gift of deep faith and peace in their hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all the children who today will receive the Lord Jesus for the first time in the Holy Communion, may they continue to know the love of Jesus and celebrate each communion as if it was their first. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are sick and suffering, that they may have comfort, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our dearly departed, may 
the Lord grant them mercy, forgiveness, and full blessing in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all of us gathered here, may each of us be grateful for the gift of the Eucharist and experience with faith and love this encounter with our Lord Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of this day and we thank you for the gift of these children and their willingness and cooperation in saying yes to you today at this Eucharist. Heavenly Father, we ask that you continue to illuminate our hearts and our minds as we continue to grow in our relationship with you. And we ask that you answer the prayers that we present to you at this altar of sacrifice. We ask this through the intercession of our Blessed Mother, as we all say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us all be seated as we prepare the altar of sacrifice. sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effect in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant we pray that we may, that, that as we have come to know your truth, they may make it ours by a worthy way of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. It is truly right to give you thanks, just, truly just to give you glory. Father most holy, for you are the one God living and true, existing before all ages and abiding before all eternity, dwelling in the approachable gift, yet you, who alone are good, the source of life, have made all that is, so that you might fill your creatures with blessings and bring joy to the many of them by the glory of your light. And so in your presence are countless hosts of angels who serve you day and night and gazing upon the glory of your face, glory you, glorify you without ending cease. With them, we too confess your name in exaltation, giving you voice to every creature under heaven as we acclaim. Praise Father most holy, for you are great, and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love. You form man in your own image and entrusting the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he may have made dominion over all creatures. And when and then, through the disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the dominions of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek faith find you. Time and time and again you offer them covenant, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father most holy, that in your fullness of time you set your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners, freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart, joy to accomplish your, pain, your plan and give you himself to death. And rising from the death, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as a first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his works in the world, he might sacrifice cre creation to, to the full. Sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, make this same Holy Spirit graciously and sanctify these so. gifts that we have become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which we which he himself left us as an eternal covenant for when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you father most holy having loved his own who were in the world he loved them to the end and while they were asleep he took bread <laughs> when they were at supper I'm sorry he took bread blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way taking the chalice filled with fruit of the vine, 
he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the, our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent into the realm of death. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we wait in his coming in glory, we offer you his, blood, his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into the one body by the Holy Spirit. May they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to praise and glorify. Therefore, therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice especially your servant, Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, Gregory, our Auxiliary Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose fate you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into the heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole creation freed from the corruption of sin and death. May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Let us all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof. We say the word, and my soul shall be healed. to you are in front James you're over here Father, you're on the other side yeah. Beth, if you'll just wait for her she's gonna be the last one she's gonna be the last one
pray? Graciously present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and in leading those you have imbued with the heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, I'd like for you to please be seated as we give you a few announcements. First of all, we'd like to thank, uh, on behalf of Father Lito, Deacon Jim, Father Fred, Seminary, and Kevin, we would like to personally thank Ms. Pat Brady for her tremendous work with these kids this year. In the midst of this COVID season, she has done an awesome job, yeah? And so we thank you very much for your hard work. We also like to thank these children for their next step in the next chapter and allowing us to be here to be witnesses to this opportunity of them to grow with uh, the Lord. And we thank them for their, for their yes, yes. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, they are a reminder for us that we too must continue to nourish the seeds that were planted inside of us that we must continue to grow in the love and relationship with our Lord Jesus Christ. And each one of us has a responsibility to it. And so I invite you all this coming year to participate, actively be participants in the holy sacraments of the Eucharist and in an active participation in the community here at St. Mary's. Last but not least, I'd like to thank our beautiful choir who we're here um, giving us and filling us with much joy, and so we thank them, yes? And I always forget, and I apologize, my mea culpa, mea culpa, mea gran culpa, but all the men and women who got up this Saturday to make sure that you were all taken care of and seated and welcomed here, so to our welcome committee, we thank them all very much, yeah? And just a reminder, so there will be picture taking with the family, Virgin Mary, statues. We of the priests have already taken pictures with the children. So we invite you to take pictures with your family. Um, just be courteous of the time. We do have another mass starting at right at 1230, but the kids will come in earlier themselves to take their own photos. So please be courteous of the time for the next group that's gonna be here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. In defense of your children, O Lord, we pray, Straight, stretch forth the right hand of your majesty, so that obtain, obeying your fa fatherly's will, they may have the unfailing protection of your fatherly care. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Go in peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A friendly reminder that there are cupcakes and a reception over at the gazebo and the schoolyard. Everyone is invited to cupcakes as well. So please, thank you. I can't see what that is now. What? Blessing of items. Oh, blessing of gifts. Oh, yes. Father Lita and I will stay behind to bless gifts as well. I can't see that far. There we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you.